All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, you know, it's Tuesday night, and we're excited for Sports Minutes tonight. Hey, for you guys just tuning in, every Tuesday night, between the hours of 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., we do have Sports Minutes. Hey, I'm telling you, we're just so excited about this day, and uh, the rain is, is coming down right now, and we just so thankful and grateful for everything that God has given us and how he continued to bless us, even with all of the old other world and parts of America seems like it's up at uproar seems like the enemy is is all around in our street our streets and uh, people are getting killed and people are getting kidnapped and it always seems like something bad in the news but we, we know that the God we serve is a protector a provider and a way maker so we thank God for that and just loving us because without him it would not we'd not be we would not be all right, so tonight, just sit back and relax. Tuesday night, Sports Minutes, and we will be back shortly. Game up. You're listening to the TMA Radio Show. All right, all right, all right. We're getting into the Sports Minutes with Jeff. We're so excited. <laughs> All right, Jeff, take him away. All right. Hello, everybody. Get back here on the show. Uh, thank you, Minister Ackridge, for having me on. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the sports. Let's talk about, um, we can't, I was going to do somewhat of a recap of the Cowboys and Colts, but I don't know how much there is to really recap after that game. That was, um, that was a beatdown, honestly. Uh, the Cowboys uh, walked all over the Colts. The score was 42-7. to uh, Cowboys clinched their division, and right now it looks like that team is for real. Uh, they can run, they can rush the ball. Oh, they can. Defense is playing as well. All right. Jeff, are you still there? All right, I know we were talking about uh, we we're talking about our Cowboys, and and I think we we have a little bit of negative feed um, there, uh, but we we are so, we are so excited about them Cowboys. Let, let's give a hand for the Cowboys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to get Jeff back, and uh, I tell you, while while we're waiting on Jeff, we're gonna just play a. Just a little bit of this song while we work on getting him back for tonight. Zukas, <laughs> 
ye chini ya mkono wako maigiza neno lako lubiri wenchini kote watu wapate sikia hiyo ni kwa njia yoyote wapayo amani na kufanya wao poke wavikwe utupie ule kare uondoke baba bariki rap na waimba yo pia ile yenye ni dham ro pia na nia mwimbaji ni ukokof na tunda ro pia yani ni upendo kiasi na hivyo vilo bakia bakia Kila siku na kukucha ni bora fadhari jana Shetani utuwa makucha na uraduwa safijana Ngoza uchi miri wazi mtani kwa wasi chana Wana ita bamba kuchi mlegezo siyo na mani Sakaka wala daga mekosa mwere keo Hawa takisi kebada shetani wa mba veo Stepa na sakama ada ni wasi mambo leo Mala kumia sodoma kirifo kizazi leo Mwana mwenye kimo vura iso yo babae Mwana mkumbabu wa mzigo wa mamae Mwusi mbaba na mama skuspate kuwa nyingu Simdarao yote unjo kwa Kusha ure jambola msingi Kupinga pinga pinga baza mungu wewe koma Neno laki lo bilio kote nchinko na tukona Bipofi pe wakona Vizisi kie vema Wale mafu kutembea Siki utakoka lini wana time yako Wani yesu kumpokea Umomo yoni mwaku mwacha yeko kukea Mawiri macho yako yote juku mwelekea Akufanya chombo kipe sasa kwende lea Eloi, la masa bakitani Nena hayo yeso nipo wamba msalabani Lie kwa sauti, kisa kakata ro Haku wofu yo mauta kufu vod on no Alilie mimi na wetu wekutu kongo lewe Pewe nutu wanga zengu kuza kizu siwe na wetendo hii la japa Lifanyika kwa sababu, kufungwa kipia kitapu Na kisi mkwa adapu Sama ule wapule, deraja fika kule Hitu wate ule kuingia kuti ule Yenye maji ala Alright, tonight's forecast Low of 44 degrees, and tonight we will have rain. Wednesday, thunderstorms, high of 69 degrees with a low of 50. And I'm telling you, it seems like we're heating up. I thought we, so I thought it was winter time. I, I was ready for the cold weather. I'm looking for snow. I'm looking for the sleet. But 69 degrees, I mean, it feels like spring. But that's your forecast for Wednesday. 69 degrees high and 50 degrees for the low. All right, we're keeping it going. Mbali we hilo ndilo jibu lako mungu wangu kusaidie katika kofu wako Nangoja nini wewe no hii ni siku yako Nino gani ubiriwe kumbadilu maisha yako Amena mbali we hilo ndilo jibu lako mungu wangu kusaidie katika kofu wako Ndo vichu bisi vi envi Save your life, baby, please come back to Christ. Would you please come back to Christ so you can save your life? I know sometimes life is so hard. Makes you wonder, is God really in charge? When you feel so much pain in your heart and just a few tears from breaking apart. Can't show no weakness at all. And the rage of that stays bottled for so long until the anger rises up and sprays off. Most times it's your lowest, try to take the pain off. So I guess it helps to open up, talk about what's causing you stress that you caught. So busy giving up love in your walk. You about to collapse cause you don't get none. Confused with relationships that go down up and the false friends that come around us. When hate and persecution mounts up, stay strong soldier till the day he crowns us baby come back to christ would you please come back to christ so you can save your life baby please come back to christ would you please come back to christ so you can save your life baby come back to christ would you please come back to christ so you can save your life baby please come back to christ would you please come back to christ so you can save your life there are so many different religions but truly the true one is the christian so come home to the lord who loves you forevermore and died on the cross for us all his power and love goes beyond way more than anything i can say in the song because he's there even though you can't see him 
and he cares even when you can't feel him. Cold nights raining hard, who's there? Stressing, too many decisions is not fair. Trying to live right despite evil in the air. Pain to the joy, how can it be compared when I'm still here? Trying to be appreciative because I'm still here and you still here. So find hope in God through all the tears. One blessing can make up for All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we had some technical problems, but I think we got it worked out. Hey, Amen. We're going to kick it back to Jeff. Jeff, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. All right, go uh, ahead. Okay, yes. Uh, the remaining games that ended up happening over the weekend uh, was the Bills winning uh, as well, and the Seattle Seahawks uh, beat the Arizona Cardinals in a pretty embarrassing game, uh, to say the least. It ended up winning by a score of 35-6. to six. The Broncos... The, uh, well, the Broncos lost, excuse me, to the Bengals by a score of 38 to 27. Big game for Cincinnati being able to beat Denver. Uh, Peyton Manning threw four interceptions in that game, including two pick sixes, so that was very big. It actually ended up giving New England home field throughout the playoffs. So um, you're starting to see the playoff picture. Uh, there's still some stuff to, to be determined or to be seen uh, as far as the playoff seating. Buffalo's still in it, Houston is still in it, and so. Um, uh, so are the Baltimore Ravens as well. And in the NFC, uh, the Falcons are, are in it as well against the Carolina Panthers. That's the last spot that's pretty much up for grabs right now. And speaking of the Falcons and Panthers, let's talk about my marquee game of the week. That is my marquee game of the week, the, the Panthers against the Falcons. And, you know, this is this is, um, this is a game that I crowned or I, I've titled the the tournament of losers, <laughs> and uh, I know I know some Panthers fans might be upset about that. Hey, I'm a Falcons fan, and even I can see this is yeah. You know, when you got a six, eight, and one team playing against a six and nine team for the division, uh, that's 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 pretty disgusting. But regardless, though, it's still gonna be fun to watch. It's still a division game, and you know, since we're here in North Carolina, I gotta make that my game of the week because it's a division. Regardless of the record, it's still a divisional game. Whoever wins the game goes to the playoffs and has as much of a shot, especially getting that home playoff game in the wild card. They've got as much of a shot uh, as anybody else, really, in the playoff picture. And I know people will say, no, that's not the case. But, you know, when it comes to the playoffs, all you got to do is make it. We've seen wild card teams win. We've seen, team, we've seen improbable teams come, come on into the playoffs, you know, and end up winning. We saw the Giants do that back in 2011 against the Patriots. We saw the Packers do that a few years back with Aaron Rodgers. Um, we, we've seen we've seen wild card teams. You know, we Baltimore Ravens back in 2012. They were able to make it to the playoffs as a wild card team and go on to win the Super Bowl. So you know, anything is possible. Um, my keys for the, the the Atlanta Falcons. They've got to give the ball to Steven Jackson. They got to just let him. They got to let him rest the ball. They got to ground and pound it. There were a few times in that game against the Saints, even though the Falcons won the game, I couldn't figure out some of the play calling. I mean, you've got, you know, you know, they, they had a trick play in the in the backfield on third and one, but they tried to, you know, sort of, you know, um, they tried to sort of pass the ball or sort of pitch it out to Jack uh, Jack Woods Rogers in the backfield, and I'm like, why are you doing that on third and one? Give the ball to Stephen Jackson and let him get you the first down. I think if they're going to beat the Panthers. They have got to be able to do that. They've got to just give Steven Jackson the football on short yardage situations and get it. If they lose, they lose. But at least they can lose. But at least they, if they do lose, they'll have done it. Try be, they'll have done it, you know, being as effective as possible. You know, and, and make and calling play calls that really work to their strength. For the Panthers, I think what they've got to do is well. I think the key for them is Kelvin Benjamin's got to have a great game. I think he's got to have the game of his career in this game because. You know, I think Julio Jones, I think Julio Jones will be great. So, for the Panthers to sort of counteract Julio Jones, they've got to get a great game out of Kelvin Benjamin. And I know a lot of people are talking about him being Rookie of the Year this year. And, you know, he's, he's a great player. But I think if he can find a way to have a great game against the Atlanta Falcons, it's going to go a long way for the Panthers when it comes to um, them winning the division. Um, this game is going to be in Atlanta and I know Atlanta is playing pretty well right now, and I'm a huge Falcons fan, but for some reason, I just got the feeling that the Carolina Panthers are going to get the job done, and that's why I'm going to pick them to win the game by a final score of 20-16. to 16. 
So, with the playoff picture, uh, we, right now the Patriots, as I mentioned before, they've clinched home field throughout the playoffs in the AFC. The Broncos currently own the, the, the two seed. And in the wild card round, it's uh, pretty interesting right now because you got the Colts, uh, win winners of their division, they would host a home playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is it. This